I'm near the bottom of a mine shaft in the Black Hills of South Dakota. Now, the reason I'm here at the mine shaft is not to look at the gold mines, but actually to look around the Sanford Underground Research Facility, a cutting edge next generation physics and geology laboratory. Behind me is the Open Cut, the largest open pit in South Dakota. This is the surface expression of the Homestake Gold Mine, which was active for 120 years and extends 8,000 feet below the ground. This top portion, this pit, exposes just the top 1,000 feet or so of this amazingly productive gold mine. The dark walls of this mining pit are composed of 1.8 and 1.9 billion year old metamorphic rock that is made up of uh, old sediments from the bottom of the ancient ocean. These sediments were compressed and folded and deformed when North America was being assembled for the first time back 1.9 billion years ago. The sides of this pit also expose an enormous cross section of Earth's history because the big prominent white stripes in the sides of the pit are much, much younger. Those are 50 to 60 million year old rhyolitic volcanic intrusions. These are magmas that intruded these ancient, ancient rocks uh, at some time when the Black Hills were first starting to uplift around that time. The volcanic history of these intrusions is still a little hazy and it is the subject of ongoing research. But still, the massive difference in age between almost 2 billion year old metamorphic rock and 50 million year old magmatic intrusions is a stark example of why geology in the Black Hills is so incredible. The coolest thing about the Homestake Gold Mine is that it is now home to the Sanford Underground Research Facility, a world-class science research center located 4,850 feet underground below our feet. I'm here 4,100 feet underground inside the Sanford Underground Research Facility. 700 feet below my feet is another bigger level where large caverns have been excavated for physics experiments that are detecting things like dark matter and neutrinos. But the reason it's sighted so far underground is because the 1.9 billion year old rocks that make up the 4,000 feet of rock above me uh, are really dense and they block out all sorts of extra cosmic radiation that can interfere with their important physics experiments. Using the many experiments here, which are using you know, technology that is only now being created, um, researchers are able to look at not only the most fundamental parts of particle physics, but also the next generation of biological and geotechnical research. We're so far underground that the geothermal gradient of the inside of the Earth is catching up here. And here behind me is a whole row of equipment that is meant for studying uh, what water does when injected into rock at high pressure. And this is part of a research project that studied uh, the conductivity of rock for geothermal without the need for volcanic activity heating up groundwater. The inside of the earth is very hot naturally, both due to original heat from the accretion of the earth uh, four and a half billion years ago, but also because of ongoing radioactive decay of elements like uranium and thorium that are naturally present in the earth and decay over time and that generates quite a lot of heat. The location underground allows uh, geologists to study this geothermal gradient uh, from depth without having to drill 4,000 feet down from the surface. They can just poke a hole in the side of a tunnel and study the rock temperature and behavior from there. These geothermal experiments are exploiting pre-existing fractures in the uh, metamorphic bedrock. They pumped water into these wells at 4,000 pounds per square inch of pressure, which is a lot of pressure, and that amount of water holds these fractures open just enough to allow water to flow between uh, two drill holes, two wells. And well, the project is over, but they're still panning through the research, and uh, the work from this will hopefully revolutionize the way we do geothermal energy in the world. The coolest thing that I found in these mine shafts is how folded the rocks are. All of these old metasedimentary and metabasaltic rocks have been squeezed and folded several times over their lifetimes, and as a result, we get all sorts of different fold and fracture patterns uh, that really are fantastic examples I haven't seen outside of a textbook. The location of this laboratory in these huge caverns carved out in the rock allows it to be shielded from all of this uh, incoming radiation from the 
atmosphere from the universe from the sun, and that allows extremely sensitive physics experiments, some of the most sensitive machines ever made, uh, to research fundamental questions about particle physics and uh, origins of the universe and stars and all sorts of very existential cosmic physics questions. So the Sanford Underground Research Facility is the deepest laboratory in North America. And the research they are doing down there is important not only to the way we fight climate change in the future, but also the way we understand how our universe is connected to itself. I want to extend very special thanks to the Sanford Underground Research Facility. They have allowed us very special access to some of their important experiments going on deep within the facility. This has been Better Geology. I'm Andrew Dunning. Thank you very much for watching. That's all true, right? That's all true. Every bit of it. Okay, good. <laughs>